Hi, and welcome to lesson number seven. In this lesson, we're going to cover the both sides option in the line command. This is a pretty useful command, useful option when it comes to laying things out and bisecting and using um, other operations that you may need a curve or a line for. Now, remember in Rhino, a line can be found under the curve menu. So that command can be here under the curve menu. Up top, I'll click curve and I'll go down to line and I'll just select single line right now before and again if we look up here at the command line anytime you get confused in Rhino look at the command line it will tell you what to do it says start of line before I do that I'm gonna select the option for both sides click and now when I come over here and I draw a line as I begin to drag out it actually starts from the center and it draws in both direction Z. okay so I'll repeat that command now, uh, notice when I hit the spacebar and repeat the command, all I'm doing is drawing a single line because I didn't opt to select up here the both sides option. Now I selected the both sides option and I draw both sides. I'm again going to left click, drag a window from the lower right to the upper left and hit delete to get rid of these lines. Now, the next place I'm going to find it is right here under the line menu. Drag that out like I did in the last lesson. If you missed how I did that, just watch the previous lesson. And I'm going to select this third one here, line for midpoint. Okay, click and drag it out. Now, if I hit the space bar, because I ha selected it here in the icons, every time I hit the space bar, I'm actually going to draw the line from midpoint or the line both sides. Okay, I'm going to stop the lesson right here, and in the next lesson, we're going to draw some more lines. Thanks very much.